I'm live. Hello. Hi, everybody. I am live in my kitchen. Press this. Uh huh. The two faces. This one. Okay. Yes. There we go. Go live. Now she presses to come, right? No, Maria's going to be there. Oh, right here. I press her? Yep. Everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I am waiting for my co-chef to get on this call this morning. Sometimes these things don't always start the way they should start, and, and I guess this is kind of what's happening. Is there something else I need to do here? Okay, so yay, there she is. Hi. Hi. This is Kai. Hi, Kai. This is Micah. Hey, guys. This is Haley. Hi. 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 I'm so happy we're all here today. Uh -huh. We are going to make something amazing. Okay, so start okay. by telling thank you everybody who's here right now on this IG Live. Thank you for joining me. As many of you know, I'm all about that keto lifestyle. It's how I've managed my diabetes for, I don't know, over 15 years now. It's really made me healthier than most people I know because I have this disease, because now I'm really mindful about what I eat. And finding good keto recipes used to be a huge problem. So I found my cooking guru, uh, Marie. Frank. I have every single one of her books. I cook from her cookbooks, everybody in my house cooks from her cookbooks, and my kids, most importantly, my kids also love the recipes in her cookbook. So I want to introduce you to my love, 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 my cooking guru, Maria. Hi, Maria. Oh, you are so sweet. So sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the best. Oh, you know how much I love you. And I thought that this would be a great chance for me to introduce some of my fans to you. And if you guys don't follow her, please follow her because you're gonna get a wealth of information and you're gonna see how she incorporates her gorgeous kids and how they also love cooking. Great things for you to do with your family, which is why I love it so much too. But this weekend I asked Maria, can you help me uh, in Respin? Can you help us at Respin come up with something really yummy for the 4th of July, of course, that is keto. And she said to me, one of her favorite recipes was bourbon chicken, right Maria? Bourbon chicken is amazing. And I like really this. Everybody have, thinks it has bourbon in it. I did too. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Are people drunk on the 4th of July? I had bourbon. <laughs> it's actually kind of a cool story. It comes, it was a man, a Chinese man who was living and cooking in Bourbon Street, a chef. Um, and then he called it bourbon chicken. And it really reminds me of sweet and sour chicken without all the sugar and it's really really delicious and so instead of getting takeout we have a better fresher takeout at home oh i i agree and i suppose if the people want to they can put some bourbon in it. <laughs> they can put some bourbon in it of course if the people want to um but okay so get us started i have all the ingredients that i got okay. from look i have my stuff all prepared I just need right. you to walk us all through it because I'm not a chef. I'm just trying to like make some food and feed my family. You, this one's going to be a staple in everybody's house. I promise you. So do you have a wok or a big skillet? I do. I don't have a, I, um, skillet like you suggested. Uh, um, what did wok. you, I have, I have one of these. Okay. You heat that right up. You put that on high heat. Okay. I heat, okay. Do you have so coconut no, oil? I can't see that anymore with how we came up onto the street. Like I can't see my cooking anymore. But let me try to show my pan. You're going to see my pan more than my face because you need to. Okay, so I put this on high heat. Hmm. And I probably need to be, I'm in the wrong one. I don't know why because it's a bigger flame over here. I didn't think that. I need to be over here, Maria. Okay. 
So put it on high heat, okay. Yep. Got it. Do you have some coconut oil handy? I do. Right. Okay, you throw that in the pan and get that warmed up, okay? Okay. Please take that. Thank you. All right. Well, that heats up. I'm going to have you cut up your chicken into small pieces, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm cutting mine up too. Do you have some paper towel, towel nearby? Cut up my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You have your chicken all cut up? Oh, man, you're ahead of a game. So I just have um, some chicken breast right here. If you have chicken thighs, that's fine, too. Um, but I'm going to dice this into, like, I don't know, three-fourths of an inch piece, okay? Okay. Baby. Okay. So these are all getting cut up. And then do you have your Redmond salt, your real salt? On that bench back there, I think. I'm sorry, what did you say, Maria? Do you have your salt? I do have my salt. Okay, so first I want you to pat that chicken dry. Is it dry? Yep. Okay, because everybody, you want dry chicken so it gets nice and like a golden color, a nice crispy crust, okay? So I will just set this aside and get what I have done. So I'm gonna pat this dry to get that nice crust. You wanna do this on a steak too, if you make steaks, all right? Okay, so get your salt, and you do a nice season of that. Nice and high, like Gordon Ramsay would do. Like that, all right? You got it all seasoned? There we go, nice. Salt this up. I love, I, I, I cannot eat food that's not seasoned. If it's oh. blank, I just, and that's one of the things that guys, I really love about Maria's cooking and her recipe. Nothing is ever bland. You're going to get some flavor with Maria. You're gonna you are so sweet. You are so sweet. Have you ever heard of fish sauce before? Huh? Have you ever heard of fish sauce? Fish sauce? Yes. Of course. So everybody's kind of afraid of fish sauce, but oh my gosh, fish sauce gives you that umami bomb that is just delicious, all right? So now your chicken seasoned, right? Yep. And your pan yep. is hot. I can see mine's real hot. Be careful, don't burn yourself, right? Right. And start putting that chicken in there. All right. It's gonna work loud. So I'll clean that chicken up until you get a nice golden color. Just crossed my mind. Can you use the same recipe, say with beef? I have a friend who's allergic to chicken, and I've not ever heard anybody until I met her who's allergic to chicken. But she often asks me, "Can any of your recipes be can beef be switched out?" Absolutely. Yeah. 
absolutely. This would be really good with beef. Or if you eat pork, you could do uh, like a pork tenderloin. But yeah, a beef tenderloin would be really good with this too. Yeah, okay. There you go. There. Um, there you, go. you can make this recipe too. Okay, I don't have um, a cast iron skillet or a wok like you have, so I don't really have a goldy, goldy color yet. Um, you know what? That is totally okay. Um, you can still remove that. It's still going to taste delicious. I promise you. So remove that. And do I keep the oil? Do I strain it from the oil or keep pour it on? You can leave oil? that coconut oil in there. You leave can leave oil. that in there. Yeah. I don't know why that. I better use something else for that. Now I can hear you. Okay, so get your pan back on the stove top. Got it. All right. And you have your chicken broth? I do. All right, we're going to put that right on in the pan. And is this fire still on high? Probably medium. Okay. A little bit lower. Okay. All right, so chicken broth in the pan. Got it. All right. And then tomato sauce. Someone asked me on Instagram, are you talking about marinara sauce? I was like, no, 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 no. It's just pure tomato puree, okay? You're going to add that to it. Puree, yep, got it. Okay. And then I have some tamari sauce. And a lot of people might be asking, what is tamari sauce? Well, tamari sauce is just a soy sauce that doesn't have wheat. Um, a lot of us don't handle wheat very well. If you can't even handle soy sauce, you can use coconut aminos, okay? But I'm going to add my wheat-free soy sauce in there. And then I'm going to add my Swerve confectioners here. Now, everybody's going to ask, what is Swerve? Favorite, Swerve. favorite thing in the whole world. I, they are going to love you saying that. Swerve has saved me because I am a sweet tooth. And the only way that I could survive this diet is if I could have a piece of my flourless chocolate torte. So this is going to go in there, and this is going to make it taste like the sweet and sour chicken. That's the or way sweet I sour cream. Cream. I had also, Maria. <laughs> makes it doable. That's right. That's right. Okay. And so then that. we're going to add, what else do we have? Some vinegar. So you could either use coconut vinegar or apple cider vinegar, either one works. All right, give that little bit of an acid. Whenever you cook or write a recipe, you always want salt, fat, acid, and heat, okay? And the yes. acid is from the tomatoes and the vinegar. All right? And then we're gonna add some garlic. Now, you can- Just tell us, tell us why do we want that? There's so many different flavor profiles that are going on when you eat something. And this is why some foods are bland or you only like, like, um, if you taste something, you're like, it's missing something. It's probably missing salt. Like you said, you want all of those flavors going on. So whether it be a hit of lemon or a hit of lime, some vinegar, some tomato sauce, that adds a lot of roundness to what you're eating. Right. Um, okay. So do you have any garlic? I do have garlic. Do okay, you want to stir this? I, the way you, you instruct us to do it by smashing it with a fork, so, I didn't. You did it already? Yeah, I did it already. Okay, I'm going to tell you another thing that I like to do. I have roasted garlic here. It makes my kids like garlic better because it's more mild. And yeah. I did a YouTube video on it, but you just wrap this. Real, you put a little, you cut the tops off, put a little olive oil on it, and you wrap it tightly, first in parchment and then uh, tin foil, and you bake it at like 400 degrees for like an hour, and you get this beautiful, like, it's really like super soft, mild garlic, okay? Mm. So I'm going to add a little bit of that to it. And let's okay. see. Do you have red pepper flakes? Ooh. You like spice? Pepper flakes. You like spice? Yeah. All right. I'm going to be a little bit more light on that. I'm not a spicy girl. Oh. I like, I'm a German girl. I like, like, 
mild. Um, and then ginger. I'm a black girl and I love my spices. I love ginger too. So you like spice, I like ginger. So I highly suggest everybody going to the store and getting some ginger roots because don't use dry ginger. You got real ginger? Yeah, I got real ginger. It looks, it looks just like this. And I actually freeze this. And when I want some, I take it out and I grate it like this. And it calls for a fourth of a teaspoon. I like more than that. So I'm probably going to use a full teaspoon of ginger, okay? That's what I do right. too. Say that because I love it too. Love ginger. So we're going to heat that up so it starts to thicken. I think that's everything. Yeah. What about the scallions? That's going to go on for garnish at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. And the cool thing about scallions or green onions is I put them in a jar like this and I snip them off when I need them and they'll keep growing. You never need to buy scallions or green onions again. Isn't that cool? Oh, really? Yeah, you just cut it as you want it. And you leave it in the, the, this, right? It keeps growing it. Oh, wow. Just give it new water every once in a while. I didn't know that, Maria. That's a good tip. And one of the special recipes you have on Respin are the tomato tulips. Yes. And these are the blossoms, you know? Yes, they the are. Stem. That was one of my early favorites of yours. Awesome. So now I want you to add the chicken back to it, okay? Okay. Good job, Kai. Wow, this is amazing. And the oil too, yes? The oil from the chicken? You can drain that out if you don't want it in there. But would you I, it, I, I put it in there. I did. Oh, okay. But I want to put it I in like there. the coconut oil. The coconut oil tends to give it a tropical flavor. Yep. You like that? Huh? You like that? <laughs> yeah. You got my shirt on. Yeah. Good. So now mm. you're just going to let this cook and let the chicken. No, you don't want to do that, bud. Just like keep stirring. We'll do this one, okay? Switch. Do you want to be in it, Micah? What do? You? No. This looks really yummy. Gonna... Question. This is going to be, I'm hoping that everyone will try this recipe for this 4th of July weekend. I couldn't think of it better. But what other kinds of um, sides would go with, say, if someone is going to make it? What other things can they make? I know you're going to give us some recipes um, over at Ruben to give everyone, but what are those things that would go really well with this? So... Something that's really awesome with this is cauliflower rice. And the coolest thing about cauliflower rice is it's gotten pretty popular. You can go to the store and in the freezer section buy cauliflower that's already riced for you. But what I like to do is I have just a cheese grater and I'll take a head of cauliflower and grate it. And then it becomes little pieces of rice. Yep. And then I like to, oops, we unplugged it. Then, um, I like to make kind of like a fried rice with it. So I'll saute it in just a tad of coconut oil um, and some green onion and some ginger. Um, and that's like, and then a, an egg at the end. And you have a cauliflower fried rice to put on the bottom. That's amazing. You know, a really good cali, uh, cauliflower rice I like is like cali power. I just I tried, it. oh my God, Maria, it's so good. They have this, um, uh, uh, um, God, I, forgot, I forgot the flavor, but there's three new flavors out right now of cauliflower, cauliflower rice. Wow, flavors. Wow. I need to yeah. get into that. Really good. It's really good. Okay. So there's rice and what, and what, what, did, what are the other things? Um, so that's what I really like with this. I even made a cream cheese wonton. Um, and that was made with prosciutto. So I used uh, two pieces of prosciutto, and I put um, a little bit of um, cream cheese with some green onion and ginger, like maybe a tablespoon in the center, 
and I folded it, you know, the crossings over, and then I just fried it lightly in my air fryer, and I had a cream cheese wonton. Like, Ooh. hello. Ooh. 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 <laughs> um, I've even made egg rolls. I mean, you name it. All of that type of stuff would go really good with this. Okay. Well, everybody can head over to Respin because you're going to put the recipes there, right? You're going to give them to us so we can share them. With I will everybody. totally share. Share, share, share. And I also want to tell everyone that this weekend we're having a special sweepstakes. So if you go over to Respin and you um, add your favorite keto holiday weekend recipe, you will automatically be eligible for the sweepstakes, which will end on Monday. And if you win this sweepstakes, you're going to get one of my favorite books of Maria. And I promise you, you're, you're going to want that because you're going to have so much fun with that. And also, let me show you this. Cauliflower rice, the thing I was telling you guys about. Oh this my is gosh! For our rice. Uh, this is the sesame citrus flavor, but... This that sounds is delicious. Easy peasy. You put it in a pan and you can hard fry it and it'll give you that same consistency that you just talked about. Really, really good. That's awesome. I'll have to check that out. I don't know. I live, I live in Wisconsin where we don't have a lot of, you know, that, but maybe I could order it online. I don't know. You can order it online. You actually- Even better! She I don't does. have to go to the store. Yes. And this line also like you is by, um, a mom, by, by a, a, a mom. And she it. created this line all by herself out of need for her children to have uh, better food. They had some That's health issues. And so I love stories when I hear that people have created that really fill a need in their life. And I love that she's a woman, like doing it for herself. That, that was really inspiring. Empower, empowering women, that's for sure. Um, and the, um, the sweet steak says hashtag keto cook off. Hashtag keto cook off so join us everyone and i just want to say thank you maria and wait how long do we let this cook um just until it's cooked through it'll just take another like five minutes okay um if you want the sauce to be thicker you just wait to put the chicken in until it's as thick as you want but then you just take it out garnish it with some sesame seeds and your green onion or scallions and you have like a delicious sweet and sour chicken at home I mean, how fast was that? It is so easy. It was easy. But you make all your recipes easy. That's why I love you. And I love your I need it to be easy for these guys. That's right. Do you guys love this chicken? Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, my kids are going to try it too. And so I'll let awesome. you know what, what their review is, OK? OK. OK. Yeah. We'll see you guys. Thank you so much for helping us make our 4th of July weekend extra yummy. Thanks, Hallie. OK. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. And bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this IG Live. Thank you. Yeah.